Well, I've just been out doing a little bit of shopping and uh, guess what? Go and have a look in that skip. Because if I, if my eyes don't tell me lies, it's full of cable. Well, it ain't a lot, but every little helps. And I don't have fur to go home. So I had a little quick look about and uh, spotted this. A bit rusty in places. It's like there's some bits missing. So kind of a bit like a coffee table. Or that. I've got an idea for that. <laughs> well, when I said it was raining, I mean it was bouncing it down. Not actually very dark up there though. I, I, I'm not going outside to find out either. Wow, wasn't that some downpour? Well, whilst that was happening, I, uh, I stripped that cable. Uh, I'm taking the time now to get rid of some of the bigger items that's in my shed, that's taking up space. It's this microwave. I'll come to that in a minute, for the reason it's there. Uh, got the scales out, and that's the reason I'll show you. Skip past here, we're... Uh, Carry on Jeff and John cooking up a storm as always. Right, I stripped that cable. We didn't get that much, but we got something. I didn't cut all the cable up. Uh, some of it was quite a long length, so I'm going to keep that. It might come in handy someday, you never know. I've just been crushing the, uh, the cans up. Now then, there's a lady called Kay Nolan, hello Kay, and she sends her husband to work and every day she, wrap, she wraps his sandwiches up in tin foil and she also puts a little note inside saying I love you dearly and things like that, it, it's sickening, every day it, he, ate, he ate one of his notes once not telling a lie, he just stuck straight into his sandwich and he went, what's that? And it was a, a little love note. Sorry, Kay. So anyway, so she sends him every day with his sandwiches wrapped up in tin foil and he knows I collect alum aluminium. So he rolls them into a ball and then from one end of the room, because we're socially distancing, he tries to uh, just bounce it off my head. It's a bit disconcerting that, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm working away, one of these things just goes off my head like that. But, thanks, Glyn. But, like that. Okay. Like a, a bunch of aluminium eggs. What sort of bird lays aluminium eggs? But anyway, I just take my squash over, right, and I make them smaller oh I won't say smaller more like flatter and then they'll go in there and it takes up a lot less space than it did when they were all scrunched up let's go and look at this microwave wow one big Oh, heavy microwave. It's a yeah. It's a, a Goodman's Cuisine 4000. Push to open. Wow. Yeah. Nah, nasty. Now there's no tray inside. No electronics, we've just got a, a timer, ding, round one, and a power selector. Turn it round. Quiz.
freezing, crazy four pounds, 600 watt microwave. Now, it's got to be an old one because of the, the style and design of it. Now, we'll just take these, uh, we'll just take this cable off. Now, I was selling uh, Shark Scrapper. He's better off with cable cutters, really, rather than snips. I mean, snips do a good job. Well, these are, uh, well, they're designed to cut cable. And when he was cutting some plastic piping up, I think he was struggling to get the, the leverage. No problem with these. Now, I was going to do a separate video on this. Maybe even the Dusty Vlogs microwave challenge but the reason I'm not and not with this one is because this microwave oh god this microwave weighs about 15 kilograms that's 15 kilograms that's 30 pounds 35 15 38 pound for a microwave Right, there must be a reason it weighs so heavy. So I'm just gonna take it bits. Let's see what's in it. Well, I've borrowed the wife's uh, scales again. So, if I can figure this out on, in kilograms, stick that under. Wow, 21.1 kilograms. So that's uh, 21 kilograms. That's uh, I'm going to my calculator. 46 pound. This microwave is 46 pounds in weight. That's, that's a heavy bugger for a microwave. So uh, I'm just going to whip it all bit to bit, so we'll see inside why it's so heavy. Well, it didn't take long to take them out. We have a schematic, a schematic diagram. I'm going to try and read that afterwards, see if I can understand it. doesn't appear, appear to be anything other than a bog standard construction. Electronic bell, magnetron, uh, transformer, looks to be quite chunky, capacitor, single pole fan, usually not even not even got a plastic shroud on this one. Uh, look at that for a fuse. Wow, this is going to show this age, isn't it? Um, just tin construction. I think it, I'm just going to put it down to the fact that it's an old microwave. I'm going to say 20, 30, 25, 30 years old, and it was just built to a much better quality. I'm going to whip these bits out. One thing that you need to do, see, I'll point this out. Right. Although this capacitor has probably never been switched on and it's got a, a resistor that leaks it to the earth, to ground, so in theory, over a period of time, if there's a charge in that, it would leak out to the case, dissipate. However, it's got to be said that it, these sometimes fail and that will hold the charge. However long it will hold the charge for, I don't know. But a quick, 
got a wooden handle. Don't panic. Quick touch across those. Should satisfy all the health and safety police. Well, am I glad that I didn't take this microwave to partake in the dusty vlog. Uh, time. Take it a bit. Uh, there's nothing on this thing that is put together without a screw. <laughs> and it must be the most screws I've ever taken out of a microwave, ever. Even the turntable motor is bolted on with tiny nuts and bolts. So Up to now, no hammer has been used in this destruction. But there are no. So it's still a simple single pole motor. Uh, there's, got, there's got to be plastic, a plastic gearbox in here that turns the turntable. And if Dan from k and Scrapping is in, is watching this. Look at that, Dan. Can't see. Yeah, turn it round, turn it round for Dan. Hey, Dan. Those copper nuggets, they've even been painted green. Look at that. Even the lamp holder's screwed on. And you don't see that often. One board is screwed on. Plenty of time in this bench. Okay, well I'm guessing. We've got it stripped. Two magnets. Like I said, I'm glad I didn't do the challenge. There are 70 screws there. Now that's not including the nuts and the bolts. Nice chunk of copper out of the Magnetron, if you can see, I didn't break the deadly, kill your deadly dead stuff. Uh, very little plastic in it at all, which probably accounts for the fact that it was a you know, 21 kilogram microwave. Uh, even the door, look how many screws are on the door, I weren't taking them out. Right, time I had a beer. Not just any old beer, but one that somebody keeps spouting on about in uh, Baltica 7 Premium Export. What I like about this beer is they've thought about me. They know I've got problems opening the, the, the tops, so they made it with a little handle on. So you could just go like that. Better check if that's the magnetic or not. Winner, winner, aluminium, mag aluminium bottle top as well. That goes in the aluminium. That goes in the aluminium pile. All right, cruiser Mac. Let's see what is it is you like about this stuff. So. KND scrapping, Dan. Well, all of you, anybody. Who's come across a heavier microwave than that? Let me know. Ian, got more stripping in the shed to do. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.